Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in my video, I'm going to show you how you can fix back a broken bracelet. So today the uh, bracelet is a crystal, so I'll redesign it uh, to a new design. And also for those that you have a broken bracelet, you can learn from this video how you can fix it back. So don't worry or waste it to put it away so you can redesign it into a new bracelet. So for those that have not subscribed to my channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also hit the uh, bell icon button to get the new notifications of uh, my new video. So without further ado, let's start uh, to fix the broken bracelet. So these are the broken bracelet and um, this is uh, the crystals the clear crystals and also the frosted beads so i'm going to redesign it to a new bracelet so remember the paper clip to support to click on the nylon string to act as the stopper so you insert the nylon string into the crystal hole so um, I will put um, about 6 pieces of the crystals I will be continue to insert all the crystals pattern into the nylon string which crystals will be facing the same direction So this is to create a flower design. So each flower you need about six pieces of the crystal. So on the the last piece of the crystal, so I will make a cross um, with the nylon string with three pieces of the crystals. So I will be continue to insert the crystals. Well, I've just managed to insert about six uh, pieces of the crystal, so I will show you how it looks like. So this will be six pieces of the crystal facing on the same direction. So I'm going to cross on the last piece of the crystal, either on the left or the right. So once I cross it on the last piece of the hole, and it will create a, like a flower design. So let me insert it right now on the nylon string so once I insert it so I'll pull it tight okay so this is how it looks like so you got a very beautiful flower see so make sure all is facing the right direction so I'm going to insert um, the crystal so I'll put in between um, a grey color it up, it's up to you what color you want to put. You can put the orange color, pink, any color that uh, according to your your desire or your the design that you want to insert. So I've uh, placed a gray color crystals. So I'll continue to make the flower. So the same repeat six uh, crystals facing the right direction, and then I'll insert on the last piece to cross it and to make a flower so after I've placed the grey color of the crystal so I'll insert the frosted the piece in between the grey color crystals so this is how it looks like the flower the grey crystal and the frosted beads so I'll be continue to repeat the design. So the metal of create the flowers is three pieces of the crystal with one string and three pieces of the crystal with two strings that cross over. So let me show you how gorgeous it is. So I managed to make uh, two flowers with crystals and a grey crystal and also the two frosted beads. I'll be continue to repeat the design. So to repeat the method to create the flower, three pieces of crystal with one string and three more pieces with the two strings that cross over.
make sure you tighten up each of the flower and to pull it tight from the nylon string so you will get a firm and also um, a neat design see it is very neat and there is no gap in between so as long you pull it tight and now repeat the design again By watching my video here, I believe that you can do it yourself. It's quite simple and easy to design. As long you just need to hold it tight to, to pull on the nylon string to avoid there is a gap in between. It's a very simple jewelry design which you can uh, hand make by yourself from home. Remember just to put it tight on the edge of the flower. Wow, look at how gorgeous it is, how bling and beautiful the bracelet. So let me put it on my hand and just to showcase to you, you see how beautiful it is and that simple, you can just uh, do it by yourself. Alright, now I'm going to end each of the uh, side of the bracelet with the lock and also the catch. So now I'm going to insert one of the cap lock, okay? So this is how it looks like, okay? And I'm going to make a knot, a few rounds of the knot and just to lock it in between the cap lock. Make sure you do the knot uh, 5 to 6 round and make sure it is um, tight and push it to the side. make a few round of the knot okay you see it's like a five to six round okay so there is no gap in between so now I'm going to apply a little bit of the adhesive the uhu so I apply it on top of the knot to give an extra hole on the knot so now I'm going to cut the extra string from the knot and then I'm going to close up the, the the cap so make sure it's properly locked so now I'm going to repeat the same process on the other side of the bracelet now the final one I'm going to put a button lock so I'm going to place it on the left and on the right side of the bracelet Make sure you close up all the gaps. Alright, almost done. Let me show you how the button locks look like. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, this is a pair of the button lock. Okay, it's very easy to wear and to lock it just like this. Okay, you see? It's that simple and nice, right? Now, I have a new bracelet with me right now, see? So, hope you like it. So, well, I 
have just uh, finished uh, fixing my bracelet so hope you enjoy my video so you get some ideas and tips how you can redesign or how you fix the broken bracelet so that's all for today thanks for watching bye see you in my next video